cancel culture in three, two. Being cancelled is the process by which thoughts, actions, behaviors, sympathies, and allegiances that are considered egregious by some can be publicly held to account. Cancelling uses certain tools to achieve a successful outcome. The chief among them is a process of othering or rendering outside. I believe that every tribe and every society from an anthropological uh, point of view consists of a nucleus, that which is considered inside and dazu gehörend, and also an outer perimeter, that which has been expelled, that which lies outside, that which we define ourselves in opposition to. Phrases such as beyond the pale, tarred and feathered, sent to Coventry, or the Hollywood Ten are immediate associative jumps for me when I think of the term cancel culture. Although it's important to note that the dynamics, the social dynamics of cancel culture and those that I've just mentioned are fundamentally different. Cancel culture is an attempt to embody a punching up dynamic. What I find interesting about cancel culture is the appeal to an absolutist morality, a universal capacity for outrage, which to me strikes as being very, very different to the kind of cultural submersion into a sort of postmodernism that we have experienced in the last 30 years. If I'm being honest, there are times when the dynamics of cancel culture reminds me of Catholic techniques of excommunication or religious heresy. It seems like within cancel culture there is no uh, possibility of coming back from the edge. However, medial memories are short and the action of cancelling a person may in time also be forgotten or unsuccessful. Burning questions. If we agree that the process of cancelling someone consists largely in immobilizing their financial and economic activities, removing their ability, if they're a person of renown or a person in the public eye, to operate successfully in their chosen field. To what extent are the dynamics of cancel culture itself influenced by economic neoliberalism? Who is cancelable and who is uncancelable? Is the punishment of cancellation adequate or proportionate to the ills that have been committed, thought, spoken or acted upon? What happens to those who are on the outside? How do they continue to influence the definitions and beliefs of those that constitute the nucleus? And what happens when a dominant narrative or discourse breaks down and members of society find themselves pulling information, facts and discourses more and more from the outside? What would the act of including, bringing into the fold, acknowledging as being part of habilitating consist of what would that mean and finally how can we even talk about moral absolutes and universal condemnation in an age which is so thoroughly individualistic